I would have preferred Uso being the person who was in prison and came back. Because I felt she would have interpreted that role better than what Nero did. Hello, welcome to the favorite show, Gist HQ. Here, we bring you the most exciting, the most trend gist ever. Time gets to me, trust me. Welcome back, guys. So, on today's episode, where we are going to fully discuss about this disclosure that we are seeing with you, I have a very wonderful guest here with me. And her name is Dr. Ogene Frego. You know, when you are a doctor, whatever you say, it doesn't just go like that, it goes with the authority. You're welcome, it's so wonderful. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Um, it's my pleasure. Okay. So, um, like I was saying, um, about Nancy Sinez's disclosure, yeah. do you think that was the right thing for her to do? Okay, so um, I'm not going to say whether it was right or wrong. I'll just think about it in two from two angles. Um, was it in her contract? So was it explicitly stated that if you have a stunt double, you must not mention whether you are the one in that scene or not? So if it was not, then she wasn't wrong to do what she did. Uh, but if it was, then she was wrong. Then they have the case. Like whoever produced the film can actually take it to court and whatever. But my guess is that it was not in her contract. So there's really nothing you can hold against her. Yeah, so then the second part, the angle, second angle I want to look at it from is the angle of our culture as a people, right? We're not, we're, we're not, we're trying to, most times we're benchmarking with Hollywood. Uh, where a lot of nude scenes, because that's what it is, it's just um, a scene where like her upper body showed, right? So in, in, in Hollywood, that could be very cool. But when you come to Nollywood, and since is from the family, I'm guessing, you know, right? I'm just guessing that when everybody was not talking, wow, Santi Town, a lot of new scenes. Look at how Nancy Sime showed her breasts. And then there was this argument about uh, was it her breast or wasn't her breast? Yeah, yeah. So I'm just imagining that I'm Nancy Sime in this Nigeria like this. I'm an actress or actor, right? And then my parents now here start receiving calls. Ah. That your daughter that is an actress. Can you imagine? She went naked on TV. Yeah. So, what I would naturally do as an African Nigerian cultural person is to say, Dad is not me, or one is not me, right? But every other person is still saying it. So, you just like culturally, we're still trying to, um, we're not really there in saying, okay, these kind of scenes are allowed. And yeah, we're still very rooted in our traditions and culture. Okay. That, I think that's that's really the other angle. Okay, okay, yeah. yes, seriously. But then, I guess that was not hers to do because of the kind of backlash that she got from Twitter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So talking about the movie now, do you think that the movie had a lot of new scenes? Because we mentioned it very often. Yeah. And people on Twitter in Nigeria are kind of not comfortable with it. What do you think? I I think it is obvious because. We can watch other movies, especially white movies, and we have absolutely nothing against their movies. But when it's Nigeria, it's a problem. Everybody's talking about it like nothing else. So, what do you think about it? I, I like the question. The thing is, you need to understand that in Nigeria, we're still, like I said earlier, right? We're still very rooted in our culture and tradition. But I like the word you use, hypocrisy. And I, I totally agree with that because. There's some research, uh, many some years ago, I don't think about less than 10 years ago, where Nigeria rated like number one or two, Pornhub, right? Wow. So yeah, so if you already have that rating of guys and ladies or whatever, Nigerians rated so high in that kind of site, why are you people complaining about exactly. nudity on that show or on that series? I didn't see, I don't know, honestly, when, when a, somebody's telling a story, they need to create scenes that really depict what they're trying to say. 
And that's what that was what was done in Shanty Town. I don't I didn't see any excessive nudity. I don't know. I've seen movies with, with more nudity than, than Shanty Town. So I don't I, I don't know what Nigeria they just they just pretend you know. Some of some of them when they're watching Hollywood movies, it's even worse scenes in quotes, right? Some of them they pause and go to the bathroom. <laughs> Thank you very much for that answer. So, welcome. on the next segment of the show, we are going to be dissecting disease, Shanty Town. Welcome back. Here, we are going to be dissecting disease, Shanty Town. Do you think that story was worth the hype? Really? Like I said earlier, I have always told people who have asked me the same question. I want to believe that there's going to be a season two to what we saw, episode one to six, right? Because for me, the story has is not complete. Uh, the plot is not. I've not. I didn't really understand what exactly was the issue, right? What the storyline is. Yeah. Somebody else might correct me, but honestly, I felt there was still something hanging that yeah. that didn't really set to. We had a politician who wanted to be a governor on his own side, controlling the kingpin staff, right? So then there was this ring. So was it really about governorship race or was it about revenge of killing that lady's sister? So what was the story really about? I didn't really get it at the end of the day. Or was it just a campaign about prostitution and people should stop or whatever? So really, I, I I think there should be a season two to help me understand the story. So now tell us about the cinematography, editing, everything. Just help us to understand better where you actually think that shot out. Yeah. Now about cinematography, also the the in cinematography you're telling a story with your your shots. We're telling you a story with your lighting, the ambience, and everything. And when creating Shanty Town for what it is, as a place, not a slum, but man, these guys are rugged, yeah, prostitution and all that. So it really elevated the movie, gave it its character, right? So they did very well with cinematography. In fact, like the, the opening scene where there was this bomb blast and people were running, this way. That was like my one of my best scenes when it comes to cinematography. The camera movement, how the people were running and all, and then the blasts. So cinematography, it did very well. Whoever was in charge of cinematography did a great job. Yeah. Um, for for the actors, right? They did their job. Um, for me, I felt some of those roles that were cast either didn't have the right actors to them or they should have just swapped roles. For instance, I would have preferred Insert being the person who was in prison and came back. Because I felt she would have interpreted that role better than what Nero did. That's my opinion. Okay? So, um, the other roles too, like for instance, the role Nancy played. I honestly do not know what that role was supposed to be. Somebody else could have been another role, uh, someone else in the crew, or sorry, the cast, could have been the one to charm whoever, right? That guy, the yeah, Femi Fem, 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 yes. yeah. So I feel like they just put a lot of stars there, uh, like it is in Nigeria. When you people, when they see a lot of stars in the movie, they want to come watch it. So I think they just want to uh, put a, uh, Shola Shobawale there, uh, Uche Jumbo, um, a lot of people like I can't help loud. Shola Shobawale, I don't what what did she what role did she play there? For me, it was not a useful character. It was a waste of character. <laughs> okay, yeah. So talking about something I really loved about the movie or the series was the sound design. So why, what I would pick out, not necessarily the soundtracks and all, but it's really the fighting scenes. One of the things that I've noticed that has been a challenge for me in, in Hollywood movies is 
somebody shoots the gun and you can see the spark before you hear the sound or you hear the sound before you see the spark no there's no sync but this this movie they did a very good job wow once you you see the you know the gun blazing you can actually connect both the sound and what you're seeing both the punches the kicks none of they were all in sync right so they did really good the sound um, the directing, I, I, I saw some of what uh, the media has done, and he's done a very good job with directing. And um, I'm not surprised with what he did with Shanty Town. I'm sure we're all learning and doing it too. For instance, there was a scene, one of those fighting scenes, where uh, I think any Edo made a mistake. She was supposed to say, is it multiple or multitude? So your, your subtitle was correct, but what she said was, was wrong. So if I was a director, I should listen to that and make sure it's changed. That also links me to the editor, whoever edited the movie. Right? You did a good job uh, with editing. No, don't do that to me, please. Wait for me to share it out. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. I'd, I'd, I'd rather rate it like based on story, cinematography, like that. But to give it a general rating is difficult for me. Uh, because I'm in the industry too. I know, I, um, I know that there's a lot that has gone into whatever we've seen. And I need to have an opportunity with the, the crew especially, the production crew to understand, okay, why did this happen? Or why didn't this happen? Is it that you shot songs? Because that's also that also brings me to Nollywood editors need to know that they have a very powerful job. So I know there are a lot of scenes that are shot in movies, but not all of them make the final cut. It is the editor that chooses what angles and what. So I feel like there might have been better angles and better shots that might have been produced, but were not used to really tell the complete story uh, of movies. So. It was a good outing. I'm sure the next time they will do better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sure to be yes. So thank you very much, Doctor, for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. Cool. exciting. So guys, in other news, we're sending a very big congratulations to our girl Thames for repping us very well. For those of you who don't know, she won a Grammy for the best melodic rap performance. We're so proud of you, girl, especially with the ladies, the women in the industry. Thank you very much for repping us so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is as much as we can take today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and send in your comments. Until I come your way next week, it's bye for now.